These are Iraqi dinar guru updates, news, opinions, and intel dinar opinion. According to newshound guru Jeff, things are starting to pick up in the headlines now. Important moves are being made. They will synchronize like a clockwork. This is going to be the most important investment we've ever seen, especially from August to September. According to Iraqi dinar intel guru Mark Z, via PDK what does the US Treasury's acquisition of the CBI imply for us, specifically Mark Z, the US Treasury did not fully seize control of the CBI. Don't freak out. I was informed that the final few Iraqi banks experiencing problems with funds being sent to Iran there are precisely five banks being cleaned up. They're cleaning them up so they can pull the trigger, I was informed. The world is really eager for RV to occur. The presence of UST is encouraging, in my opinion. Iraq is under intense pressure to pull the trigger. According to newshound guru Sampson, the article, MPs demand through Iraq News to end the assignment of the governor of the central bank. According to Iraqi Dinar Intel Guru Frank26, question, are they still educating the public about coins and low denominations it's a given. According to Newshound Guru Militia Man, from the article, central bank being forced to allocate an entire floor for the u.s treasury department to monitor money transfers and prevent any illegal activities and people call it dangerous yes it may be hazardous if you don't follow the guidelines that s the issue according to iraqi dinar intel news hound guru baby's mom the article u.s treasury takes control of iraq's central bank to combat money laundering the article goes beyond simply them taking over the bank in fact they have moved permanent residents inside the cbi building if this is true this is quite new information according to newshound guru sampson the article u.s treasury takes control of iraq's central bank to combat money laundering According to Iraqi Dinar newshound guru Breitling, Iran was severely sanctioned by the United States. We, the United States, are sick and tired of Iran using Iraq's banks and financial system to obtain U.S. dollars. We're changing the policy.